Solar roofing systems like this one have become popular for many reasons, the biggest of which is savings on your electrical bill. At GAF, we've improved on the technology and installation of the system. For one thing, all the components on this roof work together and are included. Another improvement is that the panels secure to the deck instead of being rack mounted, making them easier to install. The low profile of each panel blends better with the roofscape. It creates a more seamless and attractive look on the roof. We'll show you how the GAF solar energy system installs in a few easy steps. One quick note is that the system is not designed for low or flat roofs. At least a 412 pitch is required. Let's get started. All roofing jobs require best practices to keep you and your workers safe. Make sure that you are OSHA compliant at all times. Be familiar with all the safety instructions that come with the GAF solar energy system. Always wear personal protective equipment on the job. On the roof, use two people to carry the panels and always follow best practices you'd use on any roofing job. On the job site, you'll likely get a pallet with all the packaged materials. Please open them up and inventory everything prior to your installation. The solar panel components include the panel and a variety of fasteners specifically made to work with them, like weeb lugs, carriage bolts, deck screws, hex screws, and dyno bond, a wire used as part of the grounding system. You'll have multiple components of step flashing, corner flashing, counter flashing, top flashing, and its insert. The panel's bottom support comes from a starter bar and adjustable feet. You'll need the standard underlayment for roofing jobs, StormGuard. Plus, VersaShield Solo gives you the Class A fire rating and is used underneath the panels. In a perfect world, the deck surface is smooth and clean. Here, we've already completed tear-off and have begun installing our StormGuard. In a re-roof situation, it's important to remove or hammer in any protruding nails on the deck surface. Sweep away any dirt or debris. Once the deck is clean and clear, follow best roofing practices as they apply in your part of the country. We've secured the drip edge along the eaves. We've installed the storm guard underlayment in place. A starter strip is secured along the eaves and rakes. Then the first row of shingles goes down. Now we put in quick start. It's convenient because it's peel and stick and continuous. Next, more storm guard as a subroof, plus it's secondary waterproofing. Be familiar with your plans because your solar panels may require certain clearances. Some of those clearances are dictated by code, others by the roof that you're working on. VersaShield Solo is the underlayment that's directly under the solar panels. It provides the system with a Class A fire rating. It's secured with cap nails. Now we snap a line that marks the location for the starter bar. Each panel requires some pre-assembly. It's easiest to do this on the ground. You can split your crew while one finishes this job, the others can prep the deck. Can I get a hand? Each panel has five adjustable feet bases that are bolted on. These are self-tapping hex bolts. There's also an MLPE bracket that attaches at this point. It supports the power electronic piece. This GAF solar energy system has 12 panels, three rows of four. The component that gives the system its strong foundation is the starter bar. We line up the starter bar to the chalk line we snapped earlier. Once we're sure it's aligned and leveled, it's screwed down to the deck. The solar panel and starter bar have interlocking J channels that hook into one another. The panel's held at a 45 degree angle to latch into the starter bar and then lowered into place. Ideally, the solar panels fit square and snug together on the decking. There are often variations on the decking. That's why our solar panels come with adjustable feet the reveal between panels should not exceed 1 16th to a quarter inch. Once all the panels are positioned, they're secured to the deck with GAF approved fasteners. 
Now we make a few simple electrical connections. Earlier, we connected the power electronic to the panel. One wire is set aside for the home run. Now we can electrically link the panels together. The other one is designed to easily connect to the next panel. Now we add the third wire. It's a continuous run of bare copper grounding wire. There's a spot for it on the power electronic. Tighten the weed lug until it's snug. This grounding wire will run continuously all the way up to the top where it will eventually get pulled into the junction box. Now that you've seen how easy it is to install the system, we're gonna go over all the flashing. There's a top flashing insert. It's factory built to snap into place. Supports go on the ends and between the seams of each panel. They're nailed in place. Before all this is covered up with the top flashing, we fish through the dyno bond, which is the U-shaped wire that grounds the top flashing to the system. The longer piece connects the grounding to the weed lug. The top flashing interlocks with the flashing insert. Make sure you push it firmly enough in the center so it interlocks properly. Make sure it's straight across the top before securing it. Four to six nails per top flashing. You step flash up the sides like you would a high-end skylight. The counter flashing is one of the finishing touches that makes this look different than other solar systems. No tools required, it just snaps into place. The corner flashing interlocks with the top flashing. To transition into the shingling, cut an L-shaped piece of storm guard and place it over the corners. Then storm guard, followed by quick start, and you can do your shingling. Important rule with this system, there needs to be at least one row of shingles before you hit the ridge. We followed the wire diagram, and now all three wires are pulled up toward the junction box, ready for the electrician. If you and your crews are just starting off with JF Solar Energy Systems, make sure you read our instructions and watch our videos. Thanks for watching.